Hi everybody, here's my a little shot of my allotment. Uh, you'll see a little white car in a minute, that's my car. And behind those trees is our cemetery. It's quite a big plot. There is, um, <clears throat> it's about, there's probably about 30 plots. So this one in front of me is plot, is 7B, uh, 7A. And then I'm gonna spin it around and come to my plot. So this is 7B, I've got a little um, sign here, which says 7B. And then I've got another one where those um, uh, water butts are, that's where the next plot starts. So I've got 7B and C. So <clears throat> I've got here, as we start at the front of the plot, or the back of the plot, as you'd like to say, I don't know what, oh yeah, the front of the plot, we've got a little fruit area here and I've got these poles around it. So I put nets on in the summer so it stops the birds from pecking at the fruit. This is a blueberry tree. I love this. Isn't this gorgeous? Beautiful red through the winter. It really makes the place really cheerful. This area here, <clears throat> this is a no dig site as best as I can. However, this bit here, I do tend to dig. This is where I grow my potatoes and, um, Sometimes my pumpkins is a real mess here. I covered it in cardboard, as you can see. It's kind of breaking down. I came up here yesterday, cleared a lot of that um, that rough sort of sticks and things. That won't compost. It's sort of dry. Things like um, dried flowers and stuff like that. So that needs all to be put into a bin and taken to the tip or put into my green bin at home. Then I've got my my um, raised beds. There's nothing growing in here right, right now. I say there's nothing growing. There's a little tiny patch of um, Swiss chard, which might come to something. I've left, left that in. I've cleared the rest of the site or this bed, and but that might stay. I've got a little bit of chicory here. I tend to keep this in growing. I've got a friend who's got rabbits and they absolutely love it. So that's that stayed in from last year. There's not much left. I mean, it was massive. This whole thing was covered in it, but that's all that's left. This bed here, I've still got a little bit of um, Swiss chard. They're moving along. The rest of the beds haven't got anything in. Here, I've got some garlic growing. Oh, you can't see it too well. Here, this is an empty bed. This had um, celeriac in. This bed has still got a little bit of parsnips and those two beds over there are empty, my water butts. <clears throat> Another barrow full of um, brassicas and uh, just a bit of a mess really. <laughs> um, and again, the beds here all are needing prepping. I'll come back and show you <laughs> my arch, which now is not an arch, it's kind of collapsed. <laughs> feel a bit seasick so I came up and we've had a really bad storm storm Aisha um, which I think and then there was Jocelyn I think it was and it took a battering it's been like this for many years and I've propped it up with canes and things I think I've got to admit that this year it either comes down or I buy some new ones I, I buy, I'm going to buy some grapevines and um, I think if I get two arches and put them together it might be strong enough to have some grapes growing I met a lady um, ooh, a couple of months ago. I did a first aid course for um, my local tree. Um, it's a tree felling place. It's called the Woodfield. And basically we go and clear the forest and things with, you know, too many trees and, and uh, we clear it. And then we take the wood for our, our burners and things. And I met a, a lady there who was actually, it was on a first aid training because I'm a volunteer for it. So they wanted me to do some first aid. So I went and did the first aid training. And I met a lady there who runs a, <coughs> the less in Leicester, a lovely wine um, growing area. So she obviously needed to come and do the first aid for people who had an accident. Um, so yeah, she told me a few grape varieties that would be useful. So I'm going to look out for those. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to go and buy some, a couple of vines. So here it's again a bit of a mess. That end bed there, um, you probably can see this. Let me just show this root system. It's crazy. This was this was a, a, a part of a sunflower. Look at the size of this. Massive. And the roots. <laughs> so I've left it there because I'm going to take it home and, again, put it, take it down to the local tip or something. This bed, again, it's got cardboard over and a bit of a mess. But it's underneath the soil's okay. This was my Brussels bed and um, broccoli and that kind of thing. And again, this is in need of a bit of attention. Um, I put some broad beans in over winter, but I've only got like about three plants that are worth 
looking at. <laughs> Um, so they're not very good. Now this is the bit of this little cold frame that I was talking about. So this is a smaller bed and this is glass. So under here is the soil. So I put some decent soil under there. I'm trying to, trying to warm up the soil. I'll probably put some fleece over as well and see if I can grow some lettuces in there. In this area here, this was originally last year was for my pumpkins. So I grew pumpkins here and beans. So it's called what's called the seven, the three sisters, which are sweet corn, beans, and uh, courgettes, that kind of thing. So this has all been left a bit mess, really. It needs all sorting out. This is I'm going to put the compost on here, or not so much the compost, the um, um, horse manure. In here, as you, if you see here, this plant here, this is for cilia. And this is a, um, a green manure. So you grow this to leave in. And then once it dies over, it, it creates nitrogen. This is not too bad. I put some in other beds and they've not done very well. Um, so let's just move, move over here. This is a bed that I actually made myself. I'm quite proud of this. I put this together myself. It's a bit of a, what's called a Heath Robinson, which means a bit of a mattle together, but it's a little bit of well, bits of wood that I had. It's a bit weird at the this end. It's a bit higher, but hey, it's a little bed and it serves a purpose. The wood was all uh, hanging around the allotment, so um, and I was given some of these um, boards here by a friend, so it didn't cost me anything. Just a bit of time. This area here is my flower bed, and you can see I've got these lovely little stones, which I shall take all up and give them a good wash for the new season, the new growing season. And then this area needs tidying up. In here, I do have facilia seeds or facilia plants. Um, again, like that other bed, you can see some here. Yeah, they're like little ferns. And then you'll start to see, I've got some tulips coming through. Not many, but they're all amongst all of this um, facilia and also weeds and grass. These, I think here, are those blue kind of blue hyacin hyacinths um so yeah so here i've got my this is my shed i won't show you the shed because it's a bit in need of a bit of a tidy up i've got some here underneath here i've got rhubarb and i'm trying to force some rhubarb and there it is it's supposed to go really pink and it's supposed to be really sweet so i'm gonna to to just put that back on I don't know if it's going to work because put this heavy thing on the top of it. I've got a little bit more rhubarb there. Um, here is a, a pear tree and that was given to me a couple of years ago as a birthday present by a friend of mine, which is lovely. This is an apple tree. I need to just sort out some of the branches here because some of them are growing, twisting around, which isn't good. And then at the back there, I've got some blackberries on canes. This area I've just dug out, this was my artichoke bed, which I will put the Jerusalem artichokes back in here. Um, I'm not going to show you the rest of this area behind me because it's a bit of a mess. I've got some water butts, they're all full of water. Um, and there's my little shed. So that is, that is it at the moment. So not an awful lot growing, but I just thought I'd show you around for those of you who are interested in allotment uh, growing. It's a lot of hard work, but it's really worth it because you... You get, you get to come up here and you can start to pick your own veg. You know where it's grown, you know the soil it's grown in, you know it's been grown with love and care. And um, it's just a lovely community as well. A lot of the stuff on here that, you know, a lot of the beds I bought, um, these chairs I found in a skip uh, or a house clearance. The lady was going to throw them out and I was like, do you want those? She was, no, I'm just going to throw them out. So... I brought them down here. They're nothing special, but somewhere to sit, put a little cushions on in the summer. And I've got a little table down there as well by the shed. So I will leave you. I was going to leave you on a nice, um, something nice to look at, but there's not an awful lot to really look at. <laughs> um, so I'll just do the little vista again of, of the, um, the gardens. That's my plot neighbour next door. Um, she's a lovely lady. We, um, we swap recipes in the in the uh, summer when we're growing things and we find recipes for a million and one courgettes that we've got growing <laughs> so it's really interesting i'll show you i'll leave you on my parsnips 
I've had some whoppers on here at Christmas. We had some massive ones. So there's there's a healthy looking parsnip. I've not dug these out yet, but they're amazing. Anyway, everybody have a great weekend and I'll catch up with you soon. Take care. Bye.